Oh my God. You guys, Facebook's got me. <laughs> what is this? This is so funny. Okay, hold on, hold on. Do you guys see this? All right, I got all these different faces going on. Um, mystery mask live. Let me just go to live video here. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so welcome to Monday Morning Motivation, yes? It's been a while since I've been on with the motivation and it is back to get, it's time to get back on it, right? So um, I wanna share a story with you guys. Hey, Vasilka, how are you? Good morning. Hey, Willie. So, um, you know, I do the mindset coaching, right? And I had um, someone write me this morning and tell me why everything was going on in their life, right? That was not going right. And it was like, this is going wrong and that's going wrong and this is going wrong and I can't handle it and this is so much. And you know, have we ever been there where you just feel like one thing goes wrong and then everything starts to go wrong, right? So it starts off with like one little thing and then something else happens and something else happens and something else happens. So why does it seem like bad things seem to pile up on you at the same time. So let me know if you guys have been there before when it's like a series of unfortunate events keep happening to you, right? And when that happens, you get more and more frustrated or sad or, or depressed and, and all of these things pile up on you. And what it does is it paralyzes you from creating something different in your life. So when this happens, you are being tested, right? You're being tested with the first thing that happened, with the second thing that happened, the third thing and the fourth thing. How are you going to react? So, you know, someone wrote me, they're like, and this is going wrong and that's going wrong and this going. So when the first thing goes wrong, okay, what do you do? How do you respond when that first thing goes wrong? So whatever it is that happens to you um, that doesn't work out because that's life, you guys. Life happens. Life happens and a series of events happens, but the only meaning that it has is the meaning that we give it. The only meaning that life has is the meaning that we give it. So when something goes wrong and out of your control, you get to say, okay, good, you take a deep breath, and then I'm gonna give you guys a tip. Number one, you ask like, how am I creating this? What? Okay, because a lot of times we don't wanna take responsibility for what we create. But let me tell you what happens. When you get in that mindset of fight or flight and tension and something goes wrong and you start getting aggravated, that energy of being aggravated, that energy of having something go wrong just kind of dominoes into the next event and you actually attract more things going wrong, okay? Listen, you guys, what I'm saying. Like, when you give in to something that doesn't go your way with your frustration, your energy, that vibration that you have actually attracts more things that go wrong. What? Right? So you are causing it. You are creating it with your energy, with your vibration. So this is how we multiply things in our life. You can multiply things that you don't want or you can multiply things that you want. The key to creating the life you want is being able to shift, being able to shift your energy towards what you want. Are you guys hearing me? The key to creating the life you want is being able to quantumly shift your energy to create the life you want. Because guess what? No one has more access to you, your thoughts, your brain, your reality other than you you. Everything happens right here. It's not, it's, it's not just the positive vibes. It's your positive thoughts. It's your belief. All of that stuff working together, which I'm, I'm not, okay, I'm telling you how to do it. I'm not saying that it's easy though, right? I'm not saying that it's easy because sometimes the what's going wrong is so big, like you can't even see your way through the smoke, right? But when you get better and better at it, when you get better and better at it, you're able to shift and clear that smoke easily and redirect your course to where you want to go. Redirect your vibrations to attract what you want to attract, 
okay? So this is what happens. Something goes wrong, right? And you get that negative energy and you are just, you, you're, whatever it is, whether it's sadness or depression or whatever, you focus on it, you're thinking about it and you're actually attracting more things that go wrong in your life. And then you get spiraled more out of control until at the end of the day, you're like, oh, you feel like you've had enough, right? And what have you created? Nothing. You have created nothing for yourself. And this is why people don't move ahead in their lives. Because when that, that's right at standstill, when that happens and you don't have the tools to shift in the drift, to shift your vibration, you repeat that same thing over and over again because life is trying to teach you something. Life is trying so hard to teach you that you are in control, right? That you are in control of your vibrations and your thoughts and your energy and your beliefs. Those are your you guys listen this is yours what hope goes on in here and here belongs to you right and what do you do with it what do you do with it on a regular basis right life will come along show you these lessons and you fall back into your habit so what do you do when you get upset do you eat do you drink right? What do you do upset? Do you scream at other people? Do you take it out on others, right? Now, what do you do when you don't have money? Do you start being more in scarcity, like saving and scrimping, or do you change your mindset to create more money? Do you ever, when you're in a low situation, focus on what you want to create? That's called elevating your life. That's how you elevate your life, by elevating your thinking. Yes, people want to go back to the comfort zone, and the comfort zone is going to keep you comfortable. And guess what? There is no change when you're uncomfortable, right? There is no change. I'm sorry. There is no change when you're comfortable. When you go back to your comfortable habits, yeah, that's what you always do. Nothing's going to change. You have to get uncomfortable in your vibration to change, right? So what am I saying? So like when something goes wrong, you have a comfortable vibration, whether it's eating, whether it's screaming, whether it's binge watching, you have something that you do that's comfortable. If you wanna shift your vibration, you have to step into being uncomfortable and create a different result, right? You get to step into being uncomfortable and create a different result. And how do you do that? How do you do that? I have something that I teach called T-Vibe, right? That means you have to get everything in alignment, everything in alignment so that you have the power and you have the skills to create something different in your life. So the next time that you have a series of events going wrong with you, you ask myself, who am I being in this moment? Who am I being? What am I creating? What am I vibrating? What am I attracting? And when you can shift that, when you can shift that right away, you can start to have a different result in your life in any situation, right? Because nobody has access to this. No matter what happens to you, you guys, here's the sweet sauce. Nobody has access to this, to your head, your heart, to your mind and your soul. Nobody has access. You have the key. You have the power. Oh, it's so exciting, right? It's so exciting to know that nobody has access to this or to this. Therefore, you are the only one that has the power to create change in your life. You are the one who can elevate your life, right? And a lot of us believe in prayer, prayer, God, a higher power, beautiful. But guess what? That higher power gave you the power of choice, gave you the power of choice. How do you want to live your life? What do you choose for yourself, right? So when all of these things happen, you are never powerless. You're never powerless. But how do you access it? How do you access your power? That's a, it's a skill. It's a skill because you know what? If your whole life you've been reacting one way, and then something, that, something happens. To be able to react in a different way requires a new skill. So I want to invite you guys, I want to invite you guys to step into your own power on a daily basis, right? Mind over matter. Yes, Shireen, I'm feeling you say, what does mind over matter mean? What does mind over matter actually mean? <coughs> I want you guys, like we're talking, we're talking this through. What does mind over matter mean? I'm waiting. I'm going to be quiet for a minute to see if I get some answers, right? Because that was really good, Shereen, what you said. I'm waiting. Somebody has something to say. What does mind over matter mean? Listening to your inner self. Okay, good. What else? What does mind over matter mean? Hmm. 
Because we say that, right? We say that, and we say a lot of things, and we don't really know what they mean, right? So we say a lot of things, and we don't really know what they mean. That's why we just kind of end up in an abyss, right? So, <laughs> so what does mind over matter mean? Eva, okay, controlling your thoughts. Good, Keisha. Not doubting your thoughts. Good, Shireen. Positive thinking and blocking out negativity. Good, Keith. Good. So matter, let me tell you what matter is, you guys. Let me tell you what matter is. And this is a lesson I want you guys to over here. Matter is energy consolidated. It's consolidated energy, right? Energy is everywhere, right? Energy is everywhere, right? But sometimes it's consolidated. I, standing in front of you talking, I'm consolidated energy. I am matter. You can touch me. This phone that I'm talking to is matter. You can touch it, right? You can look in the mirror. You can touch the mirror. That's matter. It's consolidated energy, right? So that's the matter. Ooh, you guys, what I'm about to tell you, the mind, right, is not matter. The mind is free. The mind is expansive, right? The mind can exist inside of you. You can actually project your thoughts and your words into the universe, and it's free. It's not matter. So you can use your thoughts, okay, your vibrations that you can't see, the things that you can't see, your thoughts, your vibration. You can use that to project outward and control the matter. Oh my God, are you guys hearing me? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mind, you can use your thoughts and your inner vibrations. That's this and this, your heart. Your thoughts and your vibrations, which you can't see and you can't touch, they're not matter, you guys. I mean, they're energy, but they're not consolidated matter. So when you use your thoughts and your vibrations, right, to control the matter, Oh my God, right? That's when you can create the life you want. Are you guys feeling me? Using your thoughts and your vibrations, you can't see them. What does the thought look like? What does the vibration look like? Are you feeling me? What does the thought and the vibration look like? That's the mind, right? It's not matter. So you use your mind over the matter, over the things that you can't see to create what you want. Are you guys following me? Are you following me? So listen. This is just the tip of the iceberg. This is the tip of the iceberg of how I can help you to achieve the life that you want. I am starting a new course, the Mindset Makeover. We had a very successful course for the first six months. This is the second six months. The Mindset is, yes, Manzella is there. This is Manzella completed the first course and she completed this first course a completely different person right? A completely different person than how she started, right? So if you want to reach out to somebody who's done it, try out Manzella Robinson and her brand new bands that she sourced, right? Because she became a different person. She created a different reality for herself. Really, really beautiful. Okay. So um, you can create anything that you want in your life when you put your mind over the matter, you guys. You can create anything you want in your life when you put your mind over the matter, Okay, it's that simple, but it's that challenging as well because it requires constant and consistent commitment to creation. Constant and consistent commitment to creating the life that you want. We get to do it every single day in every single way. That's how you get better and better. When you drop that commitment, when you drop that consistency, then your life goes back to how it was. Ah, oh, and it goes back to how it was and it just becomes the same thing over and over again. So I am starting a new course. I am inviting you. If you want something different in your life, if you want to elevate your life to the next level, join this course. Join this course. I am going to be looking at my messages directly after this. If you want me to call you, I, it's going to start in uh, August 15th. It is an intense training course with me for six months to teach you the skills, how to change your life, how to create the life you want, how to use your mind and your vibrations over the matter. Okay. This is available for men and women, Eddie. All right. This is available for men and women, right? So if you guys want to quantum leap and change your life, stop living the same life over and over again. Because you know what? When you were little, you had dreams of what you wanted to be. Ask yourself, am I there? Huh? Am I living the life that I want to live? Am I there? Right? Am I living the life that I want to live? Am I there? Okay? So I want you guys, I want you guys to really, to really believe that all things are possible. 
But I can tell you this, I can tell you this, the way the world is set up, we are not taught what I can teach you. We are not taught what I can teach you. And once you learn that, possibility opens up in your life like you have never imagined. You will live a life that you finally dreamed of. You will live a life that you've been dreaming of. You will take it from your dream life to your reality, right? From your dream life to your reality. So I invite you. I invite you to believe in yourself. I invite you to invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Because when I got this message, I, I got this message this morning. This is happening and that's happening and that's happening. And I don't have time for this right? With that, when you ever said this, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. What it really means is I don't have time for me because you are creating this, right? When you're saying, I don't have time for this, you're saying, I don't have time for me, right? You get to put yourself first, your personal development first, your ability to create the life you want first, and everything else falls into place. Everything else will fall into place, so this is the thing. And another thing people say, how much does it cost? How much would you pay to live the life of your dreams? Are you happy? How many years, how much money have you spent over, a li over your lifetime to get you where you are right now? Has it worked for you? Has it worked for you? If you have spent probably hundreds of thousands of dollars on this or that throughout a lifetime to get you to where you are right now, is it working? So you get to ask yourself, what's working and what's not working? Maybe you've been investing your money in the other things. Maybe you've been investing your money in things outside of you instead of within you. I'm giving you the opportunity to invest in yourself. That is the first step of worthiness. Invest in yourself. People get terrified of investing in something that they can't see which is their mind. That's why college costs so much money, right? College costs so much money because people know how valuable it is when you invest in your mind, okay? So listen, I don't, so this is the thing. When you're saying your budget is tight, that's a scarcity mindset. And, that, and, I, and I understand that that's your reality, but that is your matter. That's the matter that you have right now. Your mind gets to elevate over the matter. The matter, if you are focusing on what you don't have all the time, if you are focusing on scarcity, what will you create? More scarcity. If you are focusing on not having enough money, what will you create? More of not having enough money. If you will focus on whatever you don't have, you will continue to not have. This is mind over matter, you guys. How many of you guys wake up and you think about how you're going to make it? How are you going to pay it? How are you going to do it? This is so hard. Well, guess what? That's what you're creating in your life. You get to learn how to up level and quantum leap your mindset to create something different. You get to quantum leap your mindset. If you want to stay broke, keep doing what you're doing. It's you that got you there. It's you that got you to that point of not having enough. It's you that got you to that point of being in scarcity. You created it with your vibrations and with your thoughts. If you want something different, you get to do something different. So I'm inviting you, right, to take a chance. I'm going to get off of this call. I'm going to see who is DMing me. DM me with your phone number. I will call you today. DM me with your phone number. I will call you today. And if you decide, you know what? I'm worth it. You know what? I want a better life. Listen, you guys, there's lots of people out there living great lives. Why not you? There's lots of people out there living amazing lives. Why not you? Right? Why not you? So if you want a different life, I'm telling you, if it's possible for one, it's possible for you too. The only different thing is what you believe, right? The only different thing is what you believe, right? So I'm telling you guys, if you want a quantum leap to the next level, if you want a quantum leap to the next level, you get to invest in your mind. And it's not just your mind, it's your mindset, it's your vibration, it's your energy. And the reason why, the reason why this is a very intensive course is because you get to override years and years of habits. We have lots of habits that don't serve us as humans. We have lots of beliefs that don't serve us as humans. So if you want to go back and like 
Take all that stuff that happened to you in your past that you bring in forward to your future every day. You take your past and you bring it forward to your future every day. It's like this. You take your past, you're like, this happened to me before, so this is probably going to be happening to me again, and you create it. And you just keep reliving the same life, the same problems, the same situation with the same people over and over again, right? How is that working for you? <laughs> How is that working for you? So I'm going to hop out this call, and I invite you, I invite you to send me a message with your phone number. I will call you today, and we can talk about it. We can talk about it right? And to see if you're ready to take the next step in your life, to create and to live the life that you want, to put your mind over matter. I love you guys so much. I hope this motivated you. Remember, like you have the power. You have the power. You have the power mentally. You have the power in your heart. Nobody has that access. Nobody has that key but you. You just get to learn how to access it yourself. And that is what I will teach you. I love you. Have a great day.